you. As you can see, we yeah. are still on a high from the royal wedding this weekend. We had to break out our fascinators yeah, from this Derby. Yeah, not just coincidence. That's right. We that's want to right. talk more about it. And Dia Davidson joins us with a royal themed The Buzz today. That's right. We're all done. And we want to thank, of course, Christine Moore once again for yes. the hats. But ladies, Prince Harry and Duchess Meghan of Sussex have released several of their official photographs taken on their wedding day. So let's roll it and take a look. Photos are by fashion photographer Alexei Lubomirsky. Ooh. In the, yeah, I know. That's very fancy. And the first image, the newlyweds are joined by several members of the royal family, including, of course, the Queen. The second image there shows the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, surrounded by their young bridesmaids and page boys, and of course, the future King, Prince George and Princess Charlotte. And there's the stunning black oh. and white shot, I love that, of the couple sitting on the East Terrace of Windsor Castle. I mean, just oh, breathtaking. I look know. how happy they are. I think oh. that's what really jumps out to me. It's just that, it I was, mean, look, especially yeah. him, just like overjoyed. And the thing is, it's the protection. It looks like he's there. He's truly her knight mm -hmm. in shiny mm -hmm. armor, which is what all of our husbands It was yeah. all just are so to genuine. Those, the photos, yeah. you can just see it with the family, everything. It mm -hmm. just felt so genuine. It really did. It was awesome. From yeah. start to finish. I just, I, I got up at four o'clock and just oh, watched yeah. it from start to finish. I was up so early. It was oh, just an amazing, <laughs> just, just so exciting and just such a moment in history that we all got to witness. That's that was the really key. But hey, for more stuff, Royal, the Royal website is now updated with information about the new Duchess, including her background and what she calls herself a proud feminist. Prince Harry's bride was just 12 years old here when she prompted Procter and Gamble to change a national television commercial. Oh, yes, she did, involving a dish soap ivory. In it, you see women fighting greasy pots and pans, but the Duchess thought the statements were sexist. The video of the story, featured on Nick News in 1993, resurfaced over the weekend. She wrote the president of Procter and Gamble, oh, yes, she did, voicing her concerns, and a few months later, guess what? That ad was changed from women to people fighting greasy pots and pans. <laughs> Who says kids can't change I the know. world? That is awesome. That is awesome. Yeah, good for her. She got started early, didn't she? Yeah. yeah. And I think it'll be one of those things where we continue to learn facts, neat facts mm -hmm. about her and about her past, you know. Oh, yeah. More things like that are going to come out when you yeah. just kind of learn about the people that they are. And yeah. she truly tried to groom herself, if you can kind of notice, mm -hmm. for a role such as this. And here we go here. Prince Harry and his new bride made a number of sweet gestures during the wedding to remember, of course, his mother, the late Princess Diana. But following their wedding, they did something else that was touching. Some of the flowers from Saturday ceremony <laughs> were made into bouquets and given to a London hospice care facility. St. Joseph's Hospice went on Facebook on Sunday to announce the donation, complete with a photo of 89-year-old Pauline Clayton enjoying the flowers. The floral arrangements carried a symbolic significance. They included white garden roses and forget-me-nots, favorites of Harry's mother, of course, the late Princess Diana. Isn't that wonderful? That I mean, is so sweet. It just seems like she just thought of every single thing, kind yes. of had it all in kind of a Yeah, because I mean, the amount of flowers so. that were involved in that oh ceremony, just mm -hmm. yeah. the decor, what a nice way to use them again and bring such, you know, joy to those hospice patients. Definitely. Oh, I love yeah. that. But now how just about a, getting better. It does. How yes. about a little bit of trivia real quick? Okay. 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 Roll this picture that I pulled up for you guys. This okay. is Queen Ooh. Sophie Charlotte. Okay. She is actually the first black queen of Great Britain and oh. Ireland. Oh. Really? Oh. Yes. And she is the three times great grandmother of Queen Elizabeth. She was Queen Victoria's grandmother. Oh so that makes gosh. her what? The fifth great grandmother for Harry. That That's is really cool. It's so neat to learn about the royal family. Not only mm -hmm. Megan, as we just learned more about her, but also the royal family. It's just so amazing. So much she was, she's buried out there in Windsor at okay. uh, St. George's. Frogmore House was hers. Uh -huh. And Buckingham Palace was built, expanded for her for George III. That awesome. is awesome. And that's a look at your body. See ya. Thanks so much. <laughs>